Today I want to show you how to use my app to control twinkly light. I have done uh, another video showing my program using processing to compile and that one was running on my PC but this time I managed to get it on my Android phone but today I'm not going to talk about the program uh, I rather want to show you how to use the app on the phone. If you want to see how the source code ran on the processing, you can check out the previous video. I'm recording this video uh, using the screen copy software, so you can see my mobile phone screen on my desktop. Okay, let's get started. First thing you need to download the software. I've already defined the link text runner one zero. Tap on here just once. So there's a warning. Download anyway. And I also want to give a warning here. Uh, my app has only been tested with a single string of Twinly Lite 400 LEDs and tested on single phone. Please use the app at your own risk. So it's downloaded. This phone doesn't allow me to install unknown apps, so I have to change the setting. And now go back. So install it. Do not open it because it will crash. There's a little bit work to be done before you can start the app. You need to download some files. I have uh, defined a shortcut for this. Text runner 10m for movies. This includes the settings file and some samples files. Okay, click on download. It's a zip file, so I just uh, temporarily put it on my drive somewhere. Now go to Explorer. So this is the zip file I just downloaded and you will see there's a single directory here. Now let me copy this directory temporary on my desktop. Okay, open the folder and you will see the text runner here. And the first thing you have to do is you have to find out your IP address of the Twinly Lite. Then you open the settings file and here you have to put your IP address and the next one is a preview area. I will explain this uh, later when we can start the app. Okay, save it first. Now I'm going to copy my Big Boss 97 folder to the phone. So open the phone from my laptop here and this is a drive on my phone just paste it here okay now I can see the folder here text runner and the file settings with the new IP address 
before you can start the app you have to allow the app to access the drive so how to do that you have to go to settings and search for apps now search for the text runner that's here and you can see permission here click on files and media and you can see the top one allow management of all files you have to select this then allow here go back go back go to home now start it now you can see it's up and this is the IP address it's saying connecting IP at the moment I haven't got the twinkly light turned on so it's unreachable for some reason here at the bottom is black okay after restarting the app I fixed the problem here you can see at the bottom supposed to be a button here let me explain what you are seeing here here is a selection of the movies and here is a text information panel and here is the preview panel and here is a status sometimes is arrow message showing here and here is the button sending the movie to the LED light okay let me explain how the files work for the demonstration I'm going to use my laptop to navigate through the file is easier here is the drive on my phone and click on that go to Big Boss 97 and you can see here is a log file here is a little bit information then you can see the text runner directory and here you can see the so-called movies it's matching the list on my mobile phone here first of all we want to look at the settings file we have seen this before when we set the IP address and the next one we want to look at is the preview uh, preview is this area in my case the lights are arranged in a portrait format so let me show you what does that mean I can select one of these let's say Christmas tree you can see the height is about twice of the width so therefore I just put the width is 1 and the height is 2 in this case it doesn't matter what number you put in it's all about the aspect ratio it's just for the preview you don't need the exact number and here is the delay for each frame in milliseconds so you can put it here and all the movies will run based on this information this is only set once for the application and the next one we want to look at are the movies you can see here the uh, Christmas tree is selected and you can also see some information text showing here and these are basically the information uh, read from the file here movie.txt just uh, additional information this is a JSON format if you want to change something uh, in the JSON file you better put to a parser to make sure everything is correct and you can find those uh, so-called JSON validator online this one for example is not too bad I've tried it before so let's say I select all the text here and I put it here and it's easier to read you can see it's uh, highlighted with the color let's say if I change something I'll remove the comma here and validate JSON then you will see there's an error message showing it's something is wrong okay let's continue the first line is a description you can put whatever you want a short description of your movie and the next line is a uh, app version uh, at the moment is not in use this is just in case for the future if there are different versions and the apps need to know whether this movie is compatible for the app version the next one is the grid this one is defining the a pixel screen for the text the each character is 12 times 6 pixel why there are 12 pixels in the width 
because I want to have a higher resolution in the width and to get a smoother scoring effect. That's the reason I scale the pixel smaller in the width. Maybe I'm not explaining really well. The easiest way is you try it out and you will see what I mean. Sorry about it. The next one is the message here. And you can see you can put any text here. The Y here is the row where the text appear. It's one. The first row is zero and one is here. And this yellow square represents the text scoring screen. The next one is the graphic. And you can see I've got a Christmas tree here. You can use any PNG file as the graphic. Uh, in this case, I'm using this one, Christmas tree, PNG. And I define the region where the graphics should appear. In Twingly lights, the lights are defined by coordinates. The x axis is from minus 1 to 1. And the y axis is from 0 to 1. To display the graphic, there's a region defined. The the region is defined by two points. One is at the bottom and one is at the top. Bottom means bottom left. I define the bottom left point with minus 0, 5. The x axis starts from minus 1 to 1 and the middle is 0. So minus 0, 5 is here. And the y start with 0, so it's the bottom point is here. And the top one is 0, 5 and 0, 5. 0, 5 is here. Here is 0, here is 1, so 0, 5 is here. The top point is here, the bottom point is here. Then the graphic will appear in this box, as you can see from the preview. So this one direction is uh, to show if you have more than one file, then it can run the animation from the first picture to the last picture, then we'll loop to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. If you put direction 2, then it will run two directions. So basically just backward and forward, backward and forward. But at the moment, we have only one file. This is the file we're putting for the graphic. And this is the file name. And min and max, we define the uh, how often the graphic appears. So in this case, I put in 1. So it, minimum 1, maximum 1 is always 1. The next element is sparks. You can add some sparks on the movie. In this case, I can define the uh, on which frame I want the spark start. In my case, I put in 15, so it starts at frame 15. Remember, the frames are counted from 0. And the length are 10 frames, so it will run 10 frames with sparks and pause for 5 frames and run for 10 frames again. And you can define the amount of sparks, minimum 2 and maximum 6, so it will have a random number between 2 and 6 for each frame. Okay, that's all about my App Text Runner version 1.00. The version 1 doesn't mean it's stable. It only means I want to have a break. I just make it version 1 and I'm not going to touch it for a while. It's written for myself only and it, there's no proper interface. I know it seems to be very complicated. Uh, if you have a try and you will find out it's not that hard. If you make a mistake, it will crash. It's still very unstable. If you have any question, just post in the comment section. Again, I just want to warn you, this app has only been tested on one twinkly light string with 400 LEDs. It should work with any number of LEDs with single string. It has only been tested on one mobile phone. Again, you are using the app at your own risk. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.